the latest report in terms of the Israeli aid uh, raid on the Al Shifa um, uh, hospital, there were, uh, according to Al Jazeera, over 20 people died last night in the ICU. Um, there are about 650 patients there, thousands others who were there seeking refuge under the uh, belief that uh, maybe a hospital would be safe. Um, Israel has claimed that there is some type of uh, command center there. They called it the Metro, supposedly, uh, because there's so much. I mean, there's reporting that when Israel controlled that hospital in the 90s, they... Well, built, let's put yeah. up this tweet. We actually have a tweet which um, has a paragraph from a Tablet Magazine article from 2014. Um, the Israelis are so sure about... This is 2014. About the Hamas uh, bunker, however, not because they're trying to score propaganda points or because it's been repeatedly mentioned in passing by Western reporters, but because they built it. Back in 1983, when Israel still uh, ruled Gaza, they built a secure underground operating room and tunnel network be beneath Shifa's hospital, which is a, one among several reasons why Israeli security sources are so sure that there's a main Hamas command bunker in or around the large cement basement beneath the building of number two of the hospital where reporters are obviously prohibited from entering. So they built this. Now, why they built this, I don't know, frankly. Um, my understanding is that you are a horrible um, uh, anti human uh entity if you build uh these type of bunkers underneath the hospital but be that as it may um they have not gone down into these tunnels is my understanding because they are afraid of booby traps the stuff that they found up in the hospital itself was ridiculously light particularly in terms of like american eyes there are you know any random uh, home in, in half the states in this country. Las Vegas guys are like, that's it. <laughs> to have arsenals like this. So there could, in fact, be, you know, uh, bunkers underneath there. Um, unclear why they are now not allowing anybody to leave the hospital. They supposedly brought in uh, incubators. Um, doctors in the hospital said, we don't need incubators. We need electricity. We need generators. We need fuel. Um, here is, uh, Joe Biden, however, trying to justify the attack on Al Shifa and accidentally admitting what many have been claiming since day one of the Gaza bombing that, uh, specifically it has been non-targeted, non-protective of citizens, but rather indiscriminate. Joe Biden's words, not my words. We did discuss uh, this, by the way. Um, but we can't let it get out of control. Here's the situation. You have a circumstance where the first war crime is being committed by Hamas by having their headquarters, their military, hidden under a hospital. And that's a fact. That's what's happened. Israel did not go in with large number of troops, did not raid, did not rush everything down. They've gone in, and they've gone in with their soldiers carrying weapons or guns. They were uh, told, uh, told, let me be precise. We've discussed the need for them to be incredibly careful. You have a circumstance where you know there is a fair number of Hamas terrorist. Hamas has already said publicly that they plan on attacking Israel again, like they did before, to everything, cutting babies' heads off to burning, burning women and children alive. And so the idea that they're going to just stop and not do anything is not realistic. This is not the carpet bombing. This is a different thing. They're going through these tunnels. They're going in the hospital. And if you notice, I, I was mildly preoccupied today. I apologize. I didn't see everything. But what I did see, whether I, I haven't had it confirmed yet, I am asked my team to answer the question. But 
What happened is they're also bringing in incubators. We're bringing in other, uh, other means to help the people in the hospital. And they've given the doctors and, I'm told, the doctors and nurses and personnel an opportunity to get out of harm's way. So this is a different story than I believe what was occurring before an indiscriminate bombing. Okay. Um, so this is a different story than what I believe than the indiscriminate bombing that was taking place uh, before. And then he mentioned carpet bombing. We give him the benefit of the doubt. He's just talking about carpet bombing in general, not the carpet bombing that we actually saw take place there. Um, I mean, uh, the images are horrible. There, there's a reason why we are now at, what is it, 70% of the American public uh, is calling for our government to provide a ceasefire. The numbers for Democrats are even higher, obviously. I'm sure we will hear from the popularists uh, that this is the uh, what the administration should be pursuing at this point. Um, we will talk uh, with Digby uh, about, in part, about how this is really, I mean, um, the implications uh, for Biden's reelection chances, obviously, and in terms of what it's doing in terms of the, uh, the, the Democratic Party and the uh, hundred million dollars that apparently minimum is going to be deployed by APAC to attack, um, you know, maybe the half dozen to a dozen squad members. But we will talk to uh, Heather about that in a moment, among other things.